Welcome to Dime Business Update, International Business Relation. My name is Clive Williams, your host. Today, the pleasure is mine to have uh, sitting with me our ambassador of France. The pleasure is mine to welcome him to our set. Thank you. Good day. Good day. You know, uh, my first question for you today, though, is where did you grow up? I grew up in France. Uh, I am born in uh, the west of France, in Europe. Uh, and uh, then, uh, when I was uh, 17, I went to Paris for my studies. Mm -hmm. I did law and uh, anthropology, uh, and then uh, a school that prepared for the high civil servants. And I worked first in, in, in the city of Paris, and then I worked in the city of Cannes. At the beginning, my, my specialty was uh, managing cities. Uh, and then I became, I have been elected as a member of the French parliament during some few years. And then I joined the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and uh, during eight years I was ambassador in charge of uh, international relations of our local government in France. And then I have been ambassador in Nicaragua and then I have been ambassador in Paris for migration because we had a big crisis of migration uh, two years ago. And uh, for one year, I am uh, ambassador here in Paramaribo for Suriname, for Guyana, and also for CARICOM. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think I was always very interested in the relation between uh, France and other countries, and that's why I uh, always try to uh, open my mind and to open my job to uh, foreign countries. And now, uh, to be ambassador is a kind of a success story <laughs> for me. Um, tell me now about uh, Nicaragua. You, you were the French, um, you, were, you were the ambassador there yes. prior to here in Suriname. How, yes. how is it different? How is it the two experience? Uh, the difference, the big difference is the language. I am a little sad here because I don't speak Dutch. And as you can see, I, I speak English, but uh, it could be better. Um, so I have, uh, I have not, the ch I had the chance in uh, in, uh, in Nicaragua to, to be inside the culture of in Nicaragua because I know uh, Spanish. How is the, the community? How is the people in comparison to? The there is a big difference, uh, and it's a big difference in my job also, um, because we have a border here. We are neighbors. Uh, in Nicaragua, the France is uh, <laughs> no board, not border. So, so the the relation is different. Here we have a border, so we have a lot of things together to to share and to manage. Uh, in Nicaragua, it's different because uh, we we have a, a cultural relation, but not so strong. In fact, than uh, between Suriname and France because of French Guiana and because of our border. Right. You know, we uh, sometimes in French school we ask what is the larger border of France. Uh, the answer is with Brazil. What is the second larger border of France? It is with Suriname. <laughs> and the third one is with Spain. <laughs> So it, it, it's because of this um, relationship, like for instance, Suriname, from, from my knowledge, Suriname have a really strong tie with France. Um, is, it, is it the same from, from France to, to, to Suriname? Is it something that you look forward to? Is, is it something that we're enjoying, that relationship, France-Suriname? Yes, it's, uh, I think it's the interest of the job of, uh, as ambassador of France in, in Paramaribo uh, because uh, we have uh, a lot uh, of uh, links, historical links, uh, from the, the time of the plantages and the Maroons uh, who went to the rivers and the, the Maroni rivers and the one who decided to to go and to live on the left side 
uh, are Surinamese, and the one who decided to live on the right side are French. <laughs> but it's the same uh, people, they, are the, they have the same culture, the same language, and that, that's important. But also during the war, you know, uh, the civil war in, uh, in Suriname in the 80s, we had uh, refugees, uh, 15,000 or 20,000 uh, refugees who went to French Guyana in the 80s. And a lot of them still live there, and they became French, in fact. Right. Uh, so that's also uh, part of our common history. And, uh, well, also, we have a future, we have a past, but we have a future, too. Uh, we have the future of the Guyana Shield, I would say, uh, to be simple. Uh, we, we share that region with the forest, uh, with the rainforest, we share uh, a lot of culture. Uh, so we, we, sh we have to share uh, a, a future in common, uh, economically, uh, in a matter of tourism, for example. Uh, I'm sure if we can present to the tourists of Europe, uh, in the market of the tourism in Europe, uh, a trip when you will discover the Ile du Salut, and then you will discover, discover the heritage of Paramaribo, and then you will go to the Kite Fall. Right. Uh, you will discover all the diversity of the Guyana Shield. You know, when a Chinese is going to France, to Europe, uh, he goes to London, to Paris, to Rome. <laughs> Why not uh, European coming here and visiting uh, Cayenne, Paramaribo and Georgetown? I am glad that you, you, you mentioned that because, you know, um, right now with the border, yeah? Um, in 2017, when you, um, you became the, the ambassador for um, France here in Suriname, one of your priorities was to really create a more flexible movement with um, uh, French Guyana and uh, and Suriname, but um, how is it going? How is that, that 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 is it realized now or the process? How is the process going to get that done? It's still a process in process, <laughs> but we 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 have some good news. Uh, for example, we deliver more uh, long-term visas. Uh, for example, we asked uh, KKF to give us a list of businessmen. Okay. And uh, these businessmen, when they ask a visa uh, for French Guyana, they have a two years visa. Uh, so that uh, during two years they can go to French Guyana without going back to the French embassy. Okay. Uh, we are also um, giving more free visas, because you know the visa of is six, 60 euros, it's quite a lot. So I, I decided to give free visas for all the tourists of Suriname going to find Guyana, uh, going through uh, travel agency. I give also um, systematically uh, free visa for groups, cultural groups, uh, sports, uh, you know, uh, a lot of groups go to find Guyana for uh, fees, for competition. I think we have to legalize it. So the idea to legalize this is to give to all people living around the Maroni, uh, from the French side or from the Surinamese side, a uh, border card. So that with this border card they can go uh, legally, and they have a border card, and they can go legally and come back and uh, do what they do, but now legally. I think, uh, and also we, we try to manage the the uh, appointment uh, for a visa uh, in a better way so that it is quicker to uh, deliver a visa uh, when it is asked to the French embassy. The, the hospital that's built in um, Albina from um, France, um, can you tell me more about that initiative, why it was um, put in place? Well, we have a long story of uh, cooperation on health between France and France, France Guyana and, uh, and Suriname. Mm -hmm. uh, not only on the border, but also we, we, we helped uh, the hospitals in uh, Paramaribo for a few years. Um, 
we, we, we think that we also we share same traits, uh, malaria and uh, dengue, uh, well, uh, illness uh, you, you find in the tropics. Right. Uh, so we, we are interested in uh, cooperating with Suriname on that subject we are sharing in a tropical um, country. We also are interested in uh, cooperating with uh, Suriname because we have uh, people in Cayenne that when they are ill for some, some illness, we send them to Paris or we send them to Martinique yeah. uh, because we don't have the, the right uh, facilities in Cayenne. But you have here in Paramaribo, so uh, we are trying to see how we could use your uh, knowledge uh, on your... Uh, so it is not, you see, it is not uh, cooperation only in one, one, one way, okay. but uh, we try to, to, to find a win-win, like we say. Tell me more about um, colonization. I notice uh, <laughs> France is pretty much one of the, the countries that, you know, still have colonies. Um, can you tell me why that is? Yeah, well, we, do, we don't speak of colonies in, in France because uh, <laughs> we think that the, these territories are part of France right. and they have the same rights and the same rules uh, than uh, France in Europe. So, because they have the same rights, the same rules, uh, the same social policy, etc., etc., we, we consider that it is uh, France. One final question before we go. Um, based on now your role as the ambassador, uh, what are some of the challenges that you're experiencing with, 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 with getting that relationship going with Suriname and especially French Guyana? What are some of the challenges you're experiencing? The challenge was uh, first to, to have um, results on some subjects that was important for French Guyana. Uh, you know, we had uh, demonstrations in uh, French Guyana uh, during the last year, in March, April, uh, big strike and demonstration in the, in the streets. And uh, I don't know if it was an epidemic because we had also <laughs> some demonstration here, yeah, but not so much, so many. Uh, <laughs> But um, and the beginning of that was uh, because uh, a problem of migration and uh, of security. And, uh, so the first challenge I had was to uh, implement some agreement we had, we signed before, but that was not ratified uh, by the National Assembly of uh, Suriname. And we did that because the, the the agreement on uh, police cooperation, uh, we, we wait f 11 years for the ratification and it has been ratified uh, last year in October. And we are working also on the mutual legal assistance uh, agreement that is also important. So my first challenge was to show even to my government, even to the French Guyana, even to the pe population of French Guyana, you see, we can work with Suriname on the subjects that are uh, important for the, the way the people uh, look uh, Suriname. My second challenge will be to uh, go further and not to keep uh, the relation between Suriname and France and Suriname and France Guyana on that topics that are important, sure, but not only. Uh, so uh, to, to strengthen the relation on other uh, more positive uh, items like culture, like economy, uh, like tourism. Well, we, 
want to use this opportunity to really thank you though for, for being here with us. I, I know for sure our viewers at home are, are, are now more enlightened about the, the relationship with, with, with um, France, French Guyana and Suriname. Um, yeah, this is where we close the interview and we're looking forward to more meetings like this where we can yes, talk. Sure. And, thank you, and, it was and a really pleasure to yes. share with you. <laughs> And to explain more about uh, our relation, yes, it was a good thing. All right. My name is Clive, and uh, this is how we close things off. Thank you very much. <laughs> it was a pleasure. It was a pleasure.